Hey guys, today my dogs will be styling a nursery, but I will be using mystery boxes. So how this will work is I will place different items and accessories inside of the green box and the pink box. I'll be placing dog food in front of both boxes. And the items inside of the first box the dog goes to will be the items featured throughout the room. So they will be completely decorating and styling this entire nursery, so it will be so interesting to see what it looks like. And both of my dogs will be helping me style the nursery today. So the first dog we have here is Phoebe. She is very energetic and she is always on the go as well. I have just placed the dog food down in front of both boxes and the box Phoebe went to first was the pink box. So the items inside of that will be the ones featured in the room. So now it is time to remove the lid from the pink box to see what items will be added into the room. So there's quite a few different smaller accessories here. There's no main feature item, but we can have these displayed throughout the room. And I love the pastel theme with all of the different items too. So we have some food items, bath products, and even a bottle as well. So now it is time to remove the lid from the green box to see what items she could have picked. So we won't be adding any of these items to the room setup as she didn't choose this box. The items itself are very similar to the other ones as they both have bath product items and food items, but the theming is very different. So now it is time to organize and sort out the next two mystery boxes. I have placed the dog food in front of the pink box and the green box, and Phoebe went over to the pink box first, so we will be using those items in the room setup. So now it is time to remove the lid from the mystery box and there is a total of four items. There's a bottle and three rattles. So two of the rattles are very similar except they're in different styles while the third rattle is completely different. You can see it features a bear and it has a floral design too. And here we have the green mystery box. So let's remove the lid to see what's inside. There's a total of four items. There's three rattles and a bottle again. The bottle is green instead of pink and we also have those two classic rattles while the third one features a star. So we have the green box and the pink box all organized, so now it's time to see which box she goes over to first, and it seems like she went to the green box first, so we'll be using the items featured in that box. So let's go ahead and remove the lid from the green box so we're able to see what's inside. So there's a total of three bibs, and they're all themed to different animals. There's an owl one, an elephant one, and a unicorn one. There's also a unicorn bag and a purple hat too. And the pink box should have pretty similar items, except they'll be styled differently. So there's a total of three bibs. One is themed to a bear, the middle one is themed to a unicorn, and the last one is themed to a panda, which matches the panda bag. And we also have a blue hat, which has been added towards the other side of the box. I have placed the dog food in front of both boxes, and Phoebe has gone to the pink box first, so let's go ahead and see what's inside. And inside of the pink box, we have one accessory item, and it is a baby blanket. I love how it's pink because it matches the box perfectly, and there is a star design towards the side. The green box also features a baby blanket as well, except the styling is very different. It's blue and purple, and it has a lot of different polka dots on it. Both options are really great, but I'm really glad Phoebe ended up choosing the pink one. Phoebe has done a great job in styling the room, but this is the last box option she'll be choosing before it's Bailey's turn, and she went to the green box first, so we'll be using the items featured in that box. Let's go ahead and remove the lid from the green box so we're able to see what's inside, and there are so many different smaller accessories here that we can feature throughout the room. There are some food themed items like cutlery and bowls, there's also some building blocks, bottles, and some hairbrushes too. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pink box. So there aren't as many accessories in this box as there were the other ones. There are some building blocks, some bottles, and some cutlery too. Phoebe did a great job in choosing some of the items that will be featured throughout the room, but now it's Bailey's turn. Bailey here is my other dog. He is a Labradoodle as well, except he's a little bit older. Bailey is a lot more calm and relaxed compared to Phoebe. He's not as energetic and as hyper as her, but he's such an adorable dog. And here we have the first two mystery box options for Bailey, and Bailey went over to the pink box first, so we'll be using the items featured in that box. So let's go ahead and remove the lid from the pink box so we're able to see what's inside. And there's a total of three outfit options, and I love the pastel theme. So the first item we have is a bunny themed onesie, and that has hearts on it. Then we have another onesie featuring stripes, and the third onesie has a star design on it. And let's go ahead and remove the lid from the green box so we're able to see what's inside. So there's a total of three outfits here, but they're completely different from the first outfits Bailey ended up choosing. There are a total of two onesies. There's a green onesie and a purple and pink onesie, and that one has elephants on it. And the third outfit is a casual dress. I have placed dog food in front of the green box and the pink box, and Bailey ended up going to the green one first. Let's remove the lid off of the green box because that's the one that Bailey ended up choosing and there are two outfits here, a onesie and a PJ set. The PJ set is themed to a giraffe and there's polka dots on it and there's also polka dots on the onesie too. 
Let's see what's inside of the pink box, so we won't be using these items in the room. There's a total of two outfits, there's a pink onesie and there's a PJ set and that's a gorgeous light blue and pink color. And here we have the last two box options for Bailey to choose from. Both dogs have done a wonderful job in styling the room so far and he went to the pink box first. So let's see what's inside of the pink box. There's a onesie and a PJ set again, but you can see they are very different. The onesie is themed to a unicorn, while the PJ set has different bunnies on it. It's teal and purple, and there's polka dots on it too. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's inside of the green box. So we won't be using these items, but these items are really adorable. We have a unicorn PJ set and also a unicorn themed onesie as well, except it has rainbows on it. Bailey and Phoebe both did a wonderful job in choosing all of the different accessories and items, so now it's time to set up the nursery. Right in the middle of the room we have a rocking cradle and I have a musical mobile attached to that. I've just added in the pink blanket that Phoebe picked and I'm also going to add in this lion plush and it has a polka dot design on it and then we also have a rattle on the other side too. One of the mystery boxes had a variety of different accessories. They had some food items, there were also some bottles and some toys like building blocks. So I'm going to add the building blocks towards the bottom of the floor here and then we have one of the rattles from the other boxes towards the other side. This wardrobe will be the perfect addition to the room setup because it has a few different shelving units to display different accessories and a section to display some of the outfits and onesies the dogs ended up choosing. So towards the back of the top shelf, we have some bottles. So there's body wash and lotion. And then towards the front shelf, we have a baby bottle. And I love how that's a light pink color to match a lot of the items featured in the room, a hairbrush and a bar of soap too. And as for the second shelf here, we have this gorgeous butterfly shaped lotion bottle. But since it is one of the larger accessories, I'll be placing it towards the back so we can add some more accessories at the front. So here we have a box of tissues and it matches that pink and purple theme. And then we also have some jars of food. So one is flavored to strawberry while the other one is flavored to blueberry. And I'll just be stacking both of those. And the final item we have here is some cereal and it's called videos. And that should be able to fit towards the side of the shelf. And I'll just be adding those clothing items and accessories on the bottom shelf. The dogs definitely did a wonderful job in choosing all of the different outfits because they all work together perfectly. They have a light pink pastel theme to them and all of them do fit into this compartment as well which is really great. So I'm able to display all of them together. And over by the door there are a few pockets to add in accessories. So in the bottom pocket we have a towel and then in the middle we have a rattle and it's a gorgeous teal color but there's also blue, purple and pink. And then finally we have a pillow for the top section. And towards the other side of the cradle we have a high chair here and I'm just going to be adding in some of the food items the dogs ended up choosing. So this bowl features a variety of different snacks and then we also have a bottle and in the middle I'll be adding in a spoon. And towards the side of the high chair, I'll just be adding in a unicorn themed backpack, a small little bottle, and a pacifier too. The dogs are definitely really great interior decorators and designers as they pick some great items to be featured throughout the nursery. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be setting up and styling a miniature nursery. I'm going to be showing you the crib, the high chair, and a few other miniature baby items in this nursery. I'm going to be styling it with different accessories and items. Be sure to stay tuned right up until the end of the video where I'll be showing you an opening of the different items and I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me these items too. And this video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can get an overview of the items and they can decide if they'd like to purchase it. So let's go ahead and start off with the first section of the nursery. So we're going to start off with this mattress and we're going to put it down on the bottom of the cot. I love the stripe design on it and it's such a pretty pastel theme too. There's quite a few different compartments here, perfect for storage. So we're going to place this changing mat over on the top shelf here. And then as the bottom shelf, we have these little onesie outfits. They're so cute. So this one's pink and it has a little design over in the middle. Then this one's really gorgeous as well. It's a little set and there's a tie on the bottom. There's rainbows on it and clouds. It's so gorgeous and it's a lovely blue color as well. So that can go right next to it like so. We already have some items over on this bottom shelf. There are some bottles and there's a total of three. And as for this shelf, we're going to be placing an outfit. This outfit's a little bit different from those ones because it's a two piece. So we have the pants over here and then the shirt, the polka dot design is totally adorable. So that can just sit over there. My favorite item in this room setup would definitely have to be this little snow globe. It's themed to Dr. Seuss. So we have the cat in the hat hat over on the top there and it's stacked on different books. We have the classic Dr. Seuss books like How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the cat in the hat. And then we also have the Lorax too. So over on either side, we're going to be placing down a plush. So we have this little cat plush that can stand up over on this side. Hopefully it stands up and stays. And then on the other side, we have this little lamb and it can sit right next to it like so. 
We have two little headbands over here which match the outfits that we put away. So one has a little polka dot design and the other one is pink. And I love how there's little bows featured on the top as well. And then as for the bottom shelf, we're going to be placing down a little hat so it matches the headwear theme and that matches one of the outfits we put away as well. And over on the bottom shelf here, we're going to be adding in some cloth diapers. There's a total of three there and then some baby wipes as well. So you can see it's a little container that can sit over there. And then there's also some extra cloths we'll add next to the baby wipes too. We do also have this bib. I'm just going to add that maybe over to the other side there later on. There's a little compartment here for the bib, so we might actually put it there instead so that can sit there. And then we're going to add a few ornaments. I love the ornament theme over on the top shelf here. So there's a few different blocks, so we'll add this pink one. And then in the middle, we're going to be adding in this blue unicorn. Over on the back shelf here, I've added these little stroller ornaments. So I have a total of four. I just need to place the last one down. So we have pink, lime green, there's purple, and yellow too. And in between the shelving unit and the crib, there's a space for the high chair. So we're just going to add a few items. So we have some berry banana yogurt that can go over on the side here. Over on the other side, we're going to be placing down some baby food and a spoon as well. So we'll place that in the middle right there. And here we have an overview of the section of the nursery. I love the theming of the room. There's so many different pastel items. So I decided to add this really bright and colorful rug over by the front of the room. American Girl also released a little bitty baby collection. So it's a miniature bitty baby for your American Girl and they're meant to be babysitting them. So this set is called the Little Bitty Baby Layette and High Chair Set. So we have the high chair set with a how to babysit book, an outfit and a few accessories as well. High chair comes in quite a few different pieces. So first off, we have the little table attachment and that's perfect for adding in food and drinks. We have the legs for the high chair and there's a total of four and there's attachments on the bottom of the seat so you're able to clip the legs in place. And then we also have the chair itself. It's a gorgeous like pink color. All we need to do is build the chair. I've added the legs onto the chair. I just need to add this last leg. All you do is place it into that. And then once you hear a click, it stays in place. All of the legs have been attached to the high chair. As you can see, it is quite tall, but it's meant to be a high chair setup. So the seat sits like this, and then there's also a little table attachment to the chair. All I'm going to do is place it down, and it clicks in place like so. It also has a little food attachment here, so you can add different food or drinks to the table. The set also comes with a bowl for baby food, and it has a pink handle to match the chair, and then also a piece of baby food so you can add it to the bowl itself. There are two bottles. This one is a green color, and then this one is more of a pink red color, so that can just sit over there. And the set does also come with a spoon for the baby food. It's a light blue color, and we just add that over to the front. The set also comes with a bib that says yum yum on the front. There is a diaper part of the set too, and that's plain white with a little star design. And I love the outfit that comes with the set. So there's a pair of pants. There's a polka dot design on it. And then we also have a matching top as well. And to complete the outfit, there's a really cute stylish headband with a bow featured on the side. And that's just such a cute outfit to wear. And the set does also come with a book too. It's a smart girl's guide to babysitting. And when you open it up, there's different information and facts about babysitting. It seems like a great read and it ties into the set perfectly too. And here we have an overview of the high chair set with the different accessories. I love how it comes with two different bottles. The babysitting book is so great for the set and the outfit's really stylish too. Let's take a look at another one of the Little Bitty Baby sets. This is the Little Bitty Baby crib and sleeper set. So it comes with the crib and then a sleeper as well. It'll be interesting to see if we have to build the crib since the box is quite small. The set comes with a total of five pieces for the crib itself. So the longer pieces have the legs attached to the bottom. There's a total of four, two on each piece. And then we have two of these smaller pieces that go on the side. And then we have the base of the crib. So let's go ahead and build it. We started off by attaching one of the smaller side pieces of the crib to the bottom of the crib. And we just attached the other side of it. So now all we need to do is attach these two pieces and the crib will be complete. Now we have the side piece of the crib. So we have the main crib attachment and there's quite a few different indents here that we need to line up. So we have the indents on this side and then also on the other side as well. And then the middle piece and we'll go ahead and push that down. And all we need to do is push the final section down. And once it makes a clicking noise, you know it will stay in place. 
And here we have an overview of the crib. It is made out of plastic, but I love the light pink theme to it. We also have a mattress, a part of the set as well. There is a stripe design on it, and that features some purple, blue, and pink too. So we'll place that over by the bottom of the crib. The set does also come with an outfit too. So we have a wearable blanket. It's light blue with a rainbow design on it. There's a piece of Velcro on the back, and then the bottom of the wearable blanket also unties as well. And it also comes with a little mini hat to match. So I'll add that over here. Overall, this is such a great set. I love the detail to it and it's perfect for the little bitty baby collection. This set is the little bitty double stroller set. I love how it's a double stroller and it also comes with quite a few items too. Here we have an overview of the double stroller completely built. So we have a wheel on the front and then we also have two wheels on the back and they do actually work so you can push the stroller around. This item does open and close depending on how much shade you'd like. And there's also a piece of Velcro here so you're able to hold the babies in place. I'm going to move it over to the back just so you can see the pocket here, which is perfect for storage. And it's quite a large pocket so you can definitely fit quite a few items inside. The set is also pretty lightweight too. The set also does come with quite a few different accessories. So first off, we have some baby food. It's berry banana flavored. I love the little picture of the berries and the banana featured on the front and the bottle itself is pink. We also have a container of baby wipes and they do open and close and the set does also come with a total of three wipes that you can add inside of the container. And as you can see, the lid does open and close on the wipes container. The wipes is made out of a plastic material and you can open and close it. And we have all three wipes just sitting inside of the container, perfect to display in a nursery room setup. The set also comes with a bottle and I love how there's a handle on either side and there's two cloth diapers as well. And they come with a piece of Velcro on either side so you're able to open and close it. And the last item we have here is a changing pad. So it matches the diapers and the wipes that are part of the set. It says American Girl on the front and it matches the mattress that's a part of the crib set. Then when you open it up, it matches the outfit that's a part of the crib set on the inside. So it has the same design. So I love how that ties in with the other set. And here we have an overview of the double stroller with the accessories. This is such a great set and I love how it comes with a variety of different accessories too that you'd normally see in a stroller. So thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it.